Round two. Here I am uh, taking the cube model I've designed on plan B for Dwight and Ollie's benefit. It was originally going to be plaster, turned it into MDF for the same shape, and painted it with a gesso. Thanks for the tip there, Dwight. Here it is. Um, some phenomenal transparency on the cube. It seems to have turned out rather well. I can see what you guys were talking about, about it being white, so we can see the light qualities as the light comes in. Um, you can see it reflecting off spaces, coming in well into certain areas. It turned out when I rotated the cube 90 degrees from what I originally had, it presented uh, these nice floor plate ideas, although I know I'm sure you don't want me to take it that far. It does portray that rather well, and the quality of light coming through is rather good. Now if I take and rotate the model 90 degrees relative to the light, that is a smashing shot right there. But it does provide that transparency along with ample room to play with mass and void in the cube. And I'm rather pleased with the turnout here. Now, I also, if I can get the pieces apart, I may have to set this down for a second. And it doesn't want to come apart. <laughs> There, with the pieces separated, there are responses that can be made with it being manipulated around. Perhaps twist it this way. I can now attempt multiple ideas, intersections rotations, and that's where I think I'm going to mold the program out from. Um, but uh, glad of the exercise, how it turned out. Um, glad I was able to recover from a disastrous opening with plaster, but I think this gets the point across, and uh, I should have a program for discussion on Friday. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. Um, I apologize I'm out today. Uh, my wife has had a severe uh, attack of rheumatoid arthritis, and we've been at the doctor, uh, among other things. Again, if you guys uh, have any questions, let me know, and uh, I'll be exploring this further uh, and be ready for Friday. Thanks.